Governor Gavin Newsom is in China this week to take part in a week-long trip, he says, is all about climate. 17's Capital Correspondent Aton Wallace joins us now with a recap of Newsom's first day and the urgent message he is bringing with him. Well, the governor is more than 6,800 miles from California on a trip he says is vital toward advancing climate action in China and right here in the Golden State. Day one of our multi-day China trip. Governor Gavin Newsom on the ground in China starting his week-long trip with a visit here, Hong Kong, specifically at the University of Hong Kong where he met with students and faculty. The topic? climate change. This is the issue of our time that defines more other issues. During his remarks, Newsom urged climate action as he spoke about his administration's long-term goal to reduce carbon emissions across the state and reach net carbon neutrality by 2045. <laughs> He said part of that must include a successful implementation of his plan to require 100% of all new car sales by 2035 in California to be zero emission vehicles. We're going to get serious about cleaning up our environment. Half of that is just in the transportation space. And that's why we went bigs. And it's wonderful to see what's happening in China in this space. I mean, you're cleaning everybody's clock in terms of the production and scale. Um, and we want to continue to drive those partnerships and those innovations. And it's one of the fundamental reasons um, why I'm out here. That's why he says his trip includes a tour of the Shanghai Tesla factory that already has produced more than 2 million electric vehicles. He'll also get an up-close look at China's high-speed rail system. And he's expected to sign climate-related memorandum of understandings with various Chinese provinces. I'm here to steal good ideas in an enlightened competition to save this damn planet. Those he met commended his climate vision. I think you are one of the greatest leaders uh, of a great state, you know, trying to really shout solid, solidly to combat climate change. But Republicans in Congress feel differently. California's GOP congressional delegation sent the governor this letter calling on him to cancel his trip amid the Chinese government's alleged human rights abuses and purported role in the ongoing fentanyl crisis impacting America. Newsom's office says he's aware of the letter, but stressed his trip is similar to other trips taken by his predecessors Jerry Brown and Arnold Schwarzenegger when they were in office, all to promote a California-China climate partnership. You have a partner in the state of California. And the big question, are taxpayers paying for this trip? Well, the answer is no. The governor's travel is funded by the Independent Protocol Foundation. The nonprofit helps to fund initiatives like this trip, a trip the governor says will benefit the Golden State. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.